Omunam, no monem. Nde Biafra, nde Ibo. Nde no na Nigeria, na nde no na Mbo Ofesi. Ekele kwa munu, otutu omano. Ehi hi oma, abale oma. Oga adiru nu oma, Mbo Obola, ni mendu unu. Maka nunu na abambo, le boburu nunu wetro unu. Kunu unike baro unu uru. Nde wano, ekele kwa munu. Udog de runu na ha Jesus. Amen. My fellow Biafrans, Ibos, who are listening to me this moment, I want you to take it seriously, what I'm telling you, before it takes you seriously. I hate no one. I don't hate any Biafran. I don't hate any Igbo man. But if you hate yourself, because I said the truth, then it is up to you. He who have ears, let him hear what the Spirit is telling the church. You see the man called Tinibu. I must tell you that his intention is to wipe, is to wipe out the whole Nigeria. Listen, Tinibu, one of his major agendas of going to Saudi Arabia is to attend jihadist summit. I get what I'm saying. <laughs> you may doubt me. Tinibu went to Saudi Arabia for jihadist summit. A summit where if you attend as a president of any country, you become a member of terrorist organization in the whole world. Your country will be recognized as a terrorist organization. That is what Tinibu has done. Which, if you allow me, in my own opinion, Tinibu supposed not to cross his leg into Nigeria. He does supposed to step his foot into Nigeria again. But let it be because Nigerians pay deaf ear and turn blind eyes to the truth. Everything Martin and the Kano spoke have come to pass. If you like, call him a prophet. If you like, call him a witch doctor. If you like, call him an occult grandmaster. I call him a man of God because he is very sincere. And he told you early that Tinibu have arranged with the Buhari for Tinibu to become the next president of Nigeria after Buhari. And Tinibu made it clear that without him sponsoring Buhari, the Buhari will never win election. And he used his money to rally Northerners to join him and with the Yorubas to make sure that Buhari win. And that is why he told you that it is his turn. Now, show me the difference between what Buhari has done to Nigerians and what Tinibu is doing now. Tinibu is doing the worst. Tinibu have disgraced himself in Saudi Arabia that spark of protest immediately because Tinibu attended jihadist summit in Saudi Arabia to properly mastermind 
every Nigerian citizen to be a Muslim, whether you like it or not, you must be a Muslim. Do halakobar and hit your pit on the ground. There is no any other religion in Nigeria that will be valued except Islamic religion. That is what Tinibu have validated. And before Tinibu left, Tinibu gave an order to recruit terrorists. Massive recruitment of terrorists in Sokoto and bringing Kebi, that is Kebi State. And this have motivated the new uh, army chief to travel to Sokoto and Kebi State, where the new terrorists are practicing how to kill people. Terrorists are on training now in Sokoto and Kebi State. Some of you pretend you don't know what I'm saying. It doesn't concern you. Somebody, I saw a comment hmm? on my comment section that what I'm saying concerns them not does not concern them. That they are their friends. So they, they don't want to hear anything from the not. And you are Biafran. And in your eyes, not an answer are killing Biafrans. And you, before you, not an ass are beheading Igbos. And not an ass made many villages, especially in Imo State, scanty that those villages, what is growing there now is grasses. Grasses are growing there now. You can't find any human being there because of what northerners are doing to Igbos in their own land in Imo State. Akata, Olo, also, and many other places in our way. So which one will I count and leave the other one? And you have the gut and have the finger to write such useless message and assent. See, the worst is coming. Prepare. Because if you refuse to accept to be a Muslim, they will behead you. And that is what Tinibu was forcing the law to be enacted for Nigeria to use Sharia law as their own law. So which means Nigeria is not a member of any state in this world we are living because the devil is the pioneer and the emperor of Nigeria. What I'm telling you now, some of you who are Igbo people, who are their friends, who are living in the far north, I want you to pack your properties, your luggages, your baggages. Run as far as your leg can carry you back to Biafra land. Because what you have not seen before, you are going to see it. And the Nigeria is going to be separated into pieces. Nigeria will be disintegrated into pieces. Go and mark my word. Because no any relevant person, no any reasonable person that will tolerate what Tinibu is doing now. If you are telling me that Tinibu does not have a hand in the ongoing recruitment of terrorist exercise in Sokoto and Kebi State, 
I think you are out of your mind because the similitude or the very similitude is very clear by the summit, Jihadis summit he attended in Saudi Arabia where he disgraced himself. Number two, Tinibu went to Saudi Arabia and he was there running his mouth telling Israel to stop fighting and killing Palestinians. Are you getting it now? Have you seen it now? Israel and Palestinians, which one that started making problem from the beginning? So, but you people don't want to listen to the truth. I will only tell you the truth, then I will leave you to react to the truth. If you like, save yourself and save your family. If you don't like, ground is not tired to absorb human head. What I'm telling you now, number two, look at the Tinibu mediating peace, peace, giving order to Israel to cease fire, to stop fighting Hamas and the Palestinians. Stop bombarding them. Are you getting what I'm saying now? You can see truly who Tinibu is. When I tell you that Tinibu is not a Nigerian, you doubt me. I see most of your comments. Can you see it now? Tinibu is not a Nigerian. Do you know that Tinibu have given order and give contract and paid to bury on the ground pipe from River State to France so that the crude oil from Biafra land will be going to France direct. Many of you will say, I'm lying. But in all this time to time, you will see that the lie becomes truth. Go and find out. So, Tinibu has gone to Saudi Arabia to cause harm, more harm to Nigerians and to destroy the peace and stabilities of the less privileged and the poor ones. Let me tell you, all the Tinibu's appointees or appointment, those people that Tinibu appointed are running away today. And they will tell you that they are not in support of what Tinibu is doing. They don't have a hand in what Tinibu is doing. So, Tinibu went to Saudi Arabia to commit abomination with his mouth. And he's doing it. As I'm telling you now, terrorists are coming. Eh? The people who are sponsoring terrorists in Sokoto and Kebi State share the money to the youths, over 2,000 youths that come out voluntarily to join the activities of terrorists in Nigeria. Tinibu never give any order to search out or to find out. See, you people are blind though. But bullets are more blind than you people because it can be anybody, anytime. So if you say that Tinibu did not have a hand, what he did now is as he set the plan, he ran away. He went to, to fulfill the promise he made to Saudi 